Hello and welcome everyone. It is Thursday, May 3rd, 2018. Yesterday was new comic book day, best day of the week. Time for another new comic haul video. Uh, I couldn't make it into my shop yesterday, so uh, I had to try and get in there this morning, which I did. And uh, time for a video now, a little later than I like it to be, but better late than never. So we'll get going on that in just a second. Uh, some good stuff out this week. Lighter week, kind of like last week, but a few good books in there. And uh, before I get going, though, I want to make sure I thank everybody that has watched my videos, subscribed to my channel, sends me a comment. Um, I really like hearing from everybody. I get some really good tips from people as well, and and you know they're asking me advice, and some people are, you know, we get into conversations, and it's helped me come up, you know, make some decisions on stuff too. So it's all good. Really appreciate it. Thanks again, everybody. Um, so a couple things that I picked up uh, over the last week. Um, I was watching Daz a Key Chaser, one of his videos from a while ago, and he talked about the new Blackhawk 244. And Steven Spielberg's supposed to be doing a new Blackhawk movie, and whether he does or not, I don't know. But the um, interesting thing with this one is the original series, I believe it was Volume 1, ran till November 68, which was issue 243. Uh, and then it was this 244 didn't come out till 76, so almost, not quite 10 years about eight years later and um, <clears throat> it's just kind of interesting that they just kept going with the oh this one's called the new Black Hawk though so it's kind of a nowadays they would have relaunched the whole series but back then they just went with number 244 and kept going so anyways got it for like a buck in the in the in the bin so I couldn't pass it up um, <clears throat> found another copy of um, Spider-Man 799 that's the one for 50 McGinnis cover Got that at my uh, second shop I go to. Got it really cheap. They gave it to me for 10 bucks, so I couldn't pass that up. So, I mean, that's going for like 50 bucks on eBay right now. And I love that cover, and, and I'm a huge Spider Man fan, so I could not pass that up. And, um, <coughs> sorry, I'm fighting this stupid cold, people. Sorry if I'm coughing, but um, Earth 2 World's End. I, I mentioned this one in my last video. I got these three for uh, two bucks a piece. And they're all like near mint copies, and it's the first appearance of that uh, Four Furies, the Apocalypse, which I mentioned. So if you again, if you can find those, try and pick them up. It's a total spec book, but uh, you know, I mean, it, in a bin, dollar bin, you can't go wrong. So, anyways, that's that's it for my older books. Just gonna start with my independents. Um, Spawn 285 was out today, and I love there's another Matina cover. So you've got that's the regular cover, and then you've got these two other. Um, so you got this one here where the you got half the face on the one side, and then you got half the face on the other side on this other book, and you got this white. That's really cool. I mean, I love those covers. Um, so yeah, if you can find those, I'd recommend picking those up. I don't think they're super expensive, but they're anytime Matina does stuff, it's just prices start jumping up on them. And one book I'm really looking forward to reading is this um, Death or Glory, and that's Rick Remender who did uh, Seven to Eternity. And I think I mentioned that in one of my other videos, that that's coming out uh, in a couple of months too. So that's the regular cover. Got uh, B cover and also um, C cover there. I really, man, I'm looking forward, I haven't read it yet, but I'm really looking forward to reading that. I like, really like Rick Remender's uh, writing, so that should be good. <clears throat> Walking Dead 179 was out. And I really like this series, and this is part five of that uh, New World Order. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And this cover, now when I saw it, I thought that was a chick on the cover, and that ends up being Carl. That is, I don't know, that's kind of freaky looking, but uh, anyways. <laughs> it's, it's a great cover, but it just, I uh, didn't realize that was Carl, but anyways. So that's a good one to get. I picked up Aliens uh, Dust to Dust number one. I believe that one came out a little while ago, but I've been wanting to get that one. This one I'm going to show you as an honorable mention, if you can find it. It's uh, Dayglow A-Hole number one, and that's out by Silver Sprocket. It's a smaller independent company, and that is going to be hard to find, and I, that's going to be a low, low print run. It's kind of a post-apocalyptic zombie killing sort of, you know, take sort of book, but uh, I, as soon as I saw that in the um, previews a few months back, I had to order it. I only got one copy. Price on that one, I think, is a little more. It's like five or six bucks, but um, it's a thick book, though, and it's um, it's one that if you can find it, I'd recommend picking it up because I think that one's going to do something. So, anyways, my opinion, I grabbed it. 
And that's it for independence. Uh, from DC this week, I got Action Comics Special Number One. Um, I got Nightwing 44. I don't have the second cover, but you're going to see an image on the screen. It's a really cool looking. It's one of those. Um, Jim Lee did that one last week for Batman, where they've got it's kind of like the young DC's version of Young Guns, and um, <clears throat> it's a really nice cover. You can find that cover B. I'd recommend picking up a cover of that. Cyborg 22. I could only find the regular cover. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, cover B, which you're going to see an image on the screen. That one is one you're going to want to get that cover. That's the first appearance of. Uh, what's the guy's name? Mechan X. I think it's. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. It's introducing Mechan X, anyways, the Man God. And so I got. I could only find um, cover A. The cover B is a really nice looking cover, as you can see on the screen there. So if you can get that one, I highly recommend you get that one because the price is jumping up on that pretty uh, pretty good. It sold out on Midtown quite a while ago and uh, stuff. So yeah, get that if you can. I know. Um, Jim Bowers, one of my subscribers, he asked me about that a week or so ago, and uh, I I asked my shop to pull it for me. They didn't even get any in, so that's that's the way it is. They probably just didn't order it ahead of time before the cutoff. So, uh, Deathstroke uh, versus Batman thirty one. I liked number thirty. It was a good, actually a good story, so I, I grabbed that. This is another. Uh, it's not quite an honorable mention, but it's just a wicked cover. Well, I only bought it for the cover and. Um, I'm not a Green Arrow fan. I will buy a few of the books if there's something happening in it. But I just love that cover, so I had to buy it. And as you can see, it's a great cover. Got Batman number 46. Again, Booster Gold. I don't think I need to tell you what I think of him, but anyways, uh, got that. So, um, yeah, that's number 46, regular, the variant of that. DC Nation number zero. I got a couple copies of this one. <clears throat> and just so you know this I mean it's only a 25 cent cover price and I read somewhere they printed I believe a million of these so these are not gonna I mean they might go up a little bit I mean they're 25 cents so even if they jump up to five bucks you're doing all right but <clears throat> I'm gonna show an image in here because there's three stories and I'd recommend you get this because it's got some important stuff there's one about uh, the Joker finding out about um, Batman and Catwoman's wedding there's a Superman story and the last one deals with the uh, Justice League teams, and it leads right into that new Justice. And the last page, I'm going to show you in here, so if you don't want to know, turn away. But the last page shows the um, the four, I believe they're gods, but uh, they show up. And these are going to be the entities that, that all the four teams are going to be fighting against. So it's kind of their first appearance. So that's kind of a key, uh, key book to get, so I'd recommend you pick that one up. Even though it's only 25 cents, there's a million of them out there. Grab a couple copies, that's what I did. <clears throat> one of those key storyline kind of things, so definitely a good one to get. That's it for DC. Uh, Marvel stuff this week. Uh, didn't grab a ton of titles from them. I grabbed Venomized number 5. I got the regular cover. That's the last issue in that uh, story arc. And the variant. I grab those two. Uh, Infinity Countdown number three was out, so I grabbed that one. That's the regular cover, and I got a few of the variants. I got that one, I got that one there, and I got the one with uh, Nova on the cover there. And the last one I got, and my pick of the week this week is Avengers number one. So that's the regular cover. <clears throat> I did get a few of the uh, variants for this, and I'll show you why I, I did in a minute. So. I got the premier um, variant, I believe. This one was, I think this only one per store? No, two per store. So there's two per store for that one. I got the uh, part of the sketch variant as well. And I got the one for 50 uh, variant. I also got the, I think this is just the, yeah, that's the party variant, but the color version. I got the young guns variant as well as the blank variant so got quite a few different ones for that but uh, out of those I like this uh, I like this sketch variant the best out of those so anyways now the reason this is important I am going to show you an image um, from this book so if you haven't read it and you don't want to know um, you're going to want to turn it off but before we do I'm going to sh uh, we're going to go back to Marvel Legacy number one 
because there's quite a bit that happens in here that relates to this. So right at the beginning of the book, they're talking. You see the big um, celestial at the at the you know way back in million BC or whatever it was, and he's digging in the ground. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just got to take a drink here. Looking for something, and then you find out uh, Ghost Rider and um, Starbrand are fighting. <clears throat> Starbrand says to Ghost Rider, uh, "Believe me." If I'd allowed you to find the fallen to bring the host, there would be no easy deaths for any of us. So they keep fighting, and he does a penance stare on him. And he says, uh, Starman says, the sleeper will wake, the horde will feed the host, the final host will, and then that's kind of all you see. And then right at the end of the book, <clears throat> or near the end of the book, Loki is down in the cavern where the archaeological dig is, and he comes across the sleeper. And the sleeper saying, summon the final host. And of course, Loki says, yes, why don't we do that? So that book, if you haven't got that book, you're going to want to get that book because that's a key component about what happens going forward in the whole Marvel Universe. Because as we all know, stage three, I believe it's phase three right now with the Marvel uh, movies and stuff. And phase four, they're going to have different enemies and stuff. And the Celestials, in my opinion, are going to be a huge part of it. And the Eternals uh, movie that um, the Eternals that Jack Kirby wrote back in the 70s, there's talk that there's going to be an Eternals movie, and in issue number two, that is the first appearance of the Celestials. So that is a key book to get. And in this book, all the Celestials start falling out of the sky. Um, at the beginning of the book, you see all the Celestials, and they're fighting, you know, the early Avengers and stuff. But in the halfway through the story, this uh, strange kind of cloud sh or uh, um, vortex opens up. This hand comes through, and all these all these uh, celestials start falling out of the sky and crashing into different places on the Earth, <clears throat> crashing all over the place. And then on the last page of the book, the final host arrives. So I don't know if this is the final host. You've got these other Celestials. So obviously these beings are way more powerful than the Celestials. I don't know if they're like the Celest the, the final host henchman or if this is the final host and then his henchman or her henchman, whatever the case is. But either way, it's kind of funny because on Infinity Wars, the uh, book that's not out yet by Marvel, there's a hooded figure that's kind of, you don't know who it is in the background with the Infinity logo on the... So is it possible that these people work for Omnipotentis and that's who's... The final host i don't know that would be cool if it was but um <clears throat> either way this is a good book you want to get because that's the first appearance of those characters right there so that is definitely a good one and then it's funny because the next uh right at the back it talks about um them the avengers fighting against the final host um of the dark celestials so yeah i don't know we'll have to see see where it goes but definitely a good one to get and that's my pick of the week this week so um, uh, where was I going to go? Because I, I just want to give you a heads up. I'm going to be, I'm not going to be able to put a video out for a couple of weeks. So I just, I got a project going at work and uh, I'm not going to have time to even get in my comic shop. So they're going to hold all my books for me and I'll do a video in a few weeks. But, uh, I just want to give you a heads up on some books coming out in the next week. Uh, that's it for this week. So DC, uh, Batman White Knight number eight comes out next week. That's the final issue. Justice League, the No Justice number one is out. That's another really good one. Sideways number four is out. And I think there's another new character being introduced in that. <clears throat> so that's a good one to get. Um, Venom number one, obviously, that's going to be the big one next week. And I believe there's, a, there's supposed to be a new character introduced in that as well. Domino number two and Exiles number three is out next week. And Image has got a new uh, Medieval Spawn versus Witch and Witchblade number one, which... I don't know, I might look at that. And Oblivion Song number three is out in case you're interested in that. I am not getting it because I dropped Oblivion Song, to be honest with you. But uh, some people might like it. And just in closing, I want to talk about uh, Action Comics 1000. I mentioned it before, the Jim Lee Tour variant with uh, Rogel Czar on the cover. It's a very low print run. I believe it's only 2500 And I was on the fence about buying that. I'm like, ah, oh, should I buy it? Should I not buy it? And I was, I was in kind of conversation with uh 
one of my subscribers, Justice for Comics, and he talked about it, and he's like, yeah, you know, you probably should get it, because it's going to go up in price, and, you know, at that time, it was about 70 bucks, and he just said he just bought one for 72 so I found one for $69, and I bought it, and at the time, or about a week or so ago, as I bought this a few weeks ago, they were around 100 bucks. now they're over two, there's, I did look at the sold, they're selling over $200 a copy, that's going to keep going up, so that's a good, you know, if it's one of those books, if you come across that book, sitting at one of your comic shops, and they're in the $70 range, I'd recommend picking it up, because it's, it's heating up pretty good, and uh, just being a millennial, or a milestone book, plus that new character, if that character goes anywhere big, that's going to, man, that book's going to skyrocket, so, anyways, that's it for this week, guys and girls, um, like I say, I won't be around for a couple weeks, but I will be back, so um, stay tuned, and I look forward to talking to you in a few weeks. Take care, everyone. Have fun. Bye for now.